What are designer fragrances or perfumes? Designer perfumes are perfumes created by a fashion brand or a brand that sells other things, but they just decided to have a little area in their marketing that they sell fragrances. So today I'm gonna share with you some of my designer perfumes from brands that you are probably well aware of. And in the next coming videos, I'll also share my niche fragrances and my private blends. It gets a little confusing because these days, the niche houses, the indie houses, which are basically companies that solely focus on creating perfumes which is very different from designers that you know are trying to venture into perfume but indie brands or niche companies that create fragrances they're now trying to produce fragrances that are more popular and common and more likable so you're ending up with um, niche brands mixing with designer brands if that makes any sense and you've got designer brands that are creating these perfumes right and they have their own little you know niche area in their brand that's how they have these private blends and they're not as commonly produced let me share with you what I have in my designer perfumes um, a subscriber did mention that if I share with you what I have, then it'll be easier for you guys to recommend some really good scents that, you know, you may not know I don't already own. So let's get started. So the first three scents I'm showing you are from Chanel. I feel like Chanel is a staple brand with the fragrances that you need for everyday wear. Now, this is Chanel number no. five. I have the 200 ml bottle which is a 6.8 fluid ounce and yes I've only used a little bit of it I hope to use more I just like it here I have the first one is Coco Mademoiselle and this is the intense version this is a 50 ml bottle and as you can see this this is why I don't do 50 mils and and 30 mils and all the rest okay we are 100 mils and up here in this house so i really like this this is a repurchase must have this is like a signature scent of mine i also keep this in the car in my purses i like the size for convenience when i'm traveling but it doesn't keep as much in there obviously as you can see it's like i drink this stuff anyway and the next one here is Coco. Oh, this one. Oh, I like as well. And I am getting through it. I can't do without these three, actually. Mainly these two. Um, the number five is kind of new-ish to my collection. But already I feel like it's a staple. So, um, yes, let's move on. Here I have Daisy Love which I recently purchased and have worn all through this week, have received so many compliments, okay? Everyone's like, you smell so pretty. And sometimes <laughs> they would walk by and be like, oh, you smell so good. And like keep walking and think twice and come back and say, actually, no, tell me what that name of that perfume is because I need to know. Let, let me write it down. So yeah, I have had very good feedback um on daisy love next in my designer collection i still have dolce and gabbana light blue and this is intense and 100 mils getting through it as you can see love it santal royale okay i was so excited unboxing this but it has been quite hot out here so i have not had the chance to wear it quite yet but I enjoyed it last year when I first bought it so this is one of the scents that get me excited for winter this is scandal by night I don't do the original you guys know this by now um, I really enjoy this it's so oh nice <laughs> 
go ahead and try it i prefer this in the range this is my favorite so yes scandal by night another favorite um cloudy day scent or winter day scent or in the air conditioning scent ah uh, this is her by zadig and voltaire if you know me and my perfumes you know this is one of my favorites so let's not talk any more than that it's creamy it's sweet it's lovely tom ford noir Ooh. sexy edgy leather you know vibes so this is nice yeah so cold weather i'm so excited to use it again this is another 100 ml and i like the bottle as well it is definitely still in my collection i have a while to go it's probably up to here and narciso pudre is still in my collection you guys know that i bought the 150 ml bottle and i had these narciso scents on my wish list for like forever and i will not stop at this one i have to have a few more in the collection in the range and yes narciso rodriguez this is narciso um pudre that's the name of the fragrance of course i will link all of these perfumes in the description box i'll just list them for you if you're interested but oh i love this did i mention that these perfumes are not in any particular order they're not next up is lampard trace by dolce and gabbana and ah oh, clean kiwi okay look the point is for me to just show you what i have so we can delve into the details another time um i have been going through this bottle like i've been drinking it bathing in it swimming in it you know so <laughs> here it is um yeah. this next one was a recommendation from a subscriber who was it rosie sense all five hi rosie um yes as you know i ended up purchasing ellie saab amande tonka she told me look this is going going gone if you don't get it so i did and it was a blind buy and it was a wise decision because this is really nice this is a nighttime cool weather type of scent and i really like it and i like this bottle so yes thank you for your recommendation and yeah it's still in my collection used a little bit but i'm waiting for winter girl so yes this right here is dior addict and this is obviously still in my collection but i am a little bit embarrassed because you guys are gonna think that i don't really like this perfume look how much i've gone through it there's still plenty in there but Honestly, I really like this perfume, okay? I've spoken about it and I only say good things. Don't mind the amount. I'm just a light sprayer sometimes, but I do wear it. This is Coco Noir and I still have it in my collection. It is still a sexy rose that I will always appreciate. I hope I never run out of these perfumes because I don't want to have to repurchase because these i feel are my staples so coco noir oh okay trezor midnight rose look i've kind of been misusing this one because i wear it to work sometimes nighttime errands type of thing or a late dinner with family i feel like it's very it, it's quite date like um but yeah i really like it so i'm getting through it too and this was like my introduction to roses one of my introductions to roses and yeah i was able to tolerate this one so 
yeah i i do like that i have it in my collection gin fizz by lubin paris there is another perfume in this collection or range by the same designer oh it has like a greenish bottle and i really like that but this has been a staple as well it's been a signature scent it's been a layering scent so i have been enjoying it it is still very much loved in my perfume collection i bet you were wondering where has this perfume gone lately is anybody still talking about Giorgio Armani C yes I still have it still getting through it it is a signature scent everyday scent I really like it but of course I had to get the 150 ml bottle so you know it's gonna be a while to get through it but yes they have many more in the range they have the intense and other versions that some of my subscribers have told me they own and they use and they love but this is the one that I have so yes Angel Muse by Mugler they used to be called Terry Mugler now it's just Mugler I know you know that but just reminding you now this is a loved perfume however I don't spray too much of this like three sprays is already like overdoing it you know eight hours you will go without respraying like it's so good you get your money's worth and you smell like hazelnut chocolate and it's it's a compliment getter too and if you don't like it initially on yourself I can probably almost guarantee that other people are gonna like it more on you so here it is love it had a 30 ml bottle bought the bigger bottle and gave away the 30 ml bottle so yes a 90 ml bottle of alien majesty by Mugler now this is a very nice bottle but I can see that the gold painting is kind of chipping off i'll have to take better care of it but it's been in the box you guys know i keep my perfumes in their boxes i tried to get through this but it's a more winter season type of perfume for me it's very strong and i like to layer it with something sweet over the top but it's such good quality and i know they have reformulated their perfumes some of their classics so this is this is the original though but let me show you the alien now this is alien the original one not the formulated version so i really like this what did i describe it as i think i said it smells like wet mud something like that but you know as you get older <laughs> or as your nose senses become more exposed to different types of perfumes you start to smell things a little bit differently i think but no my opinion on this has still has not changed it is a good scent it's very edgy and very different very out there so yeah you either like it or you hate it like it or hate it this is one of those perfumes so yeah those who love it repurchase it so many many times but this is the only bottle I've ever had and as you can see it's not like I'll be running out anytime soon Nirvana Black by Elizabeth and James now Nirvana Black and I have been through some really difficult times together some really happy moments together we have cuddled up in bed together um, yes <laughs> This is one of my winter bedtime scents. Okay, am I giving you too much information? Anyway, I really like this perfume, okay? I have spoken about it. I'll link some videos of my perfume collections from two years ago, a year ago, that are still very relevant. So I'll put them in the description box. Check them out. And yeah, this is Nirvana Black by Elizabeth and James. Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud. Now, this is velvet dress, red carpet type of smell. <sighs> a 
a chocolate coated rose kind of something like that <sighs> it's so nice okay now look i've owned the other jo malone scents that come in the clear bottle that are not the intense versions like the cologne intenses and they didn't do it for me i had to get rid of those the cologne intenses are really my favorites in the jo malone collections this one i need to wear more in winter i need to spend more time with some of these perfumes you know when you do that rotation seasonal changes of of scents and everything put them on your dressing table or whatever i i have not been remembering to put these it's not gonna happen this year 2022 you're gonna get some attention okay tom ford black orchid is still in my collection this is one of the scents that i recommended for valentine's day last year and yeah this was more for like an edgy date you know anyway i really like it so it is still in my collection still plenty to go so yes. by the fireplace by replica is still in my collection waiting for winter to arrive so i can wear it cozy up next to the fire type of smell it is really good quality um it smells like burning wood and chestnut if you have not tried replica scents what are you doing what are you doing because i think they're accessible and they have some really unique nice scents they just describe places and scenarios and they just try to replicate replica hmm. however a perfume provokes emotion in that moment that's how they try to capture that in a fragrance if that makes any sense but yeah go and try their range um yeah there's so many more that i really wanted but i have been disciplined okay i have been good good in 2020 and not so good already in 2022 so la nuit trezor is one of the fragrances i still have in my collection as you can see i have gone through this bottle like oh this is a really good scent for sexy times date nights you know we've been through this before um so yes i still have it in my collection i'm so happy i have it in my collection there are plenty more flankers but this is this is where i choose to stay because once you start purchasing their flankers you're not gonna stop because they're all really nice but I find that this one is a good staple. It works in all situations. This is what started it all. So really, you know, we go with classics here. Marc Jacobs Decadence. I have the gold edition bottle that had the gold lid that is somewhere. I've moved houses and you know. So this is Decadence. It normally comes in a green bottle. I'm sure you're aware of that and let's not dwell too deep this is just womanhood sexy womanhood okay oh i don't like these things that just hang around this is shalama by guerlain and this is another one of their classics eau de parfum version they have the intense they have the souffle the souffle is on my wish list that's right i keep forgetting anyway i still love and adore shalima give it a try it is a very vintage classic scent this right here is lady million by paco roban and <laughs> this actually i forgot i had it it was in my bathroom cupboard and i wear this out of the straight out of the shower it's so clean and sweet so it puts me in this type of vibe but um yeah they cost around the same price but i love both of these so 
yeah they're definitely in my collection used abused loved all of those great things and you know you guys i just purchased this was it a couple months ago it was it end of last year and i've gone through it and this is the Eau de Parfum version of Dolce & Gabbana the one before this one I had the Eau de Toilette and I have purchased those like twice before so I really love these spring summer scent they're so clean sweet feminine you know pretty so yeah love 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 this perfume right here is called perfect by Marc Jacobs and look it's all right it's very floral and green and clean but it's not my cup of tea like I really have to be in the mood for it um, Joanna a subscriber hello Joanna <laughs> um, mentioned that the intense version of perfect is out obviously I knew that too but she said it's so much better than this so I'm yet to try the intense version. It has like a black lead version of this. I'm looking forward to trying the intense because this this is not completely all the way there for me, you know? Too much florals going on here. But I know other people would like this, especially if you're a lady who likes florals. Um, this will be for you. This is Versace Dylan Blue Woman. There's the male version and the female version. Okay, look, I have sprayed this many times and it's still up there as if I didn't even touch the bottle. This is a perfume I am more than happy to share with anybody that needs a spray. You know, I also keep this in the car, you guys. This is why I had to leave it in the car because I wasn't reaching for it when I'm looking at my selection this is just not the one I was gravitating towards but it's definitely a good apple clean scent it has other florals in there that are probably triggering me right now um, that's why it's not exactly my favorite but it's it's definitely a classic um, by Versace so yeah Dylan Blue and this bottle this presentation goodness gracious it looks like juice that I would drink I love this blue blue is my color you guys so yeah here I have Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo floral sweet clean scent um it's a great everyday so this is why I have it in my collection it is a go-to so it is 100 mils. You know what? Looking at this bottle, it just reminded me about my perfume flower bomb. Where is it? I have been wearing it. I think it's in my handbag. One of the, oh my goodness. You guys, Jimmy Choo is really good, but I have gone through my flower bomb bottle a lot more than Jimmy Choo. Like I'm drinking these scents, you know, so. It's nice. I had so much fun talking and looking through my own collection because I had to gather it all up. I did forget Flower Bomb. Oh, it's somewhere, you guys. Um, but I'll put the picture up here somewhere so you can see what the bottle looks like for those that don't know. Flower Bomb is such a nice oriental. It's floral, it's musky, and it's so nice. It's a compliment getter for me. So I can't. It is one I have to repurchase because I am almost through the bottle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Now you know what I have in my designer collection. Leave me any suggestions of perfumes that you might have and you love in the comment section and let me know what you thought about my collection for 2022. Well, it's only in the beginning of the year. So look. I don't know what else I will have in my collection by the end of the year. Stay tuned for my niche collection because it's not here. This is not everything. No, <laughs> no. There's a niche collection I need to do. 
there's a private blend collection I need to do. Look, I might start a fragrance shop in this house, okay? I'm just happy. I'm just happy to share these scents with you. This would be a really good time for you to leave you all your suggestions in the comment section while I'm still in the mood, while I'm still in the vibe. <laughs> while I'm still spending like this you know of course if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up so I know that you vibed with me in this video so I hope you take care and I'll see you in the next video bye